Hi everyone, welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina, and today we're doing another collective read for whoever this may resonate with. Alright, ooh, it starts soon. There's two of them. Seven of Cups. For this collective, you have a lot of choices you're being faced with at the moment, and these are the dragon cards. Uh, it's this kind. Wisdom from the Dragon Realms. It's um, the same as it's it's the same as a uh, Rider Waite Tarot. It's just it's, it has dragons on it. So the imagery is very beautiful. So you in this collective has a lot to choose from at the moment. You're being presented with a lot of options. And these options right now are, some of them may be good for you, some of them may not. And you gotta really decipher which one would be the best for you. You can sit there with an idea and see what the potential outcome would be. Sit and sense and listen to your intuition, inner prompt things to see if this would be the best one and then put it aside you can write write it out like what you thought and then take the next option do the same next option do the same so it gives you an idea of how you feel what your inner promptings are saying while you're deciding which one of these options are the best for you next card strength this is going to require a lot of strength from you strength um, to first of all make a decision um, sometimes it feels like it's counterproductive but it isn't it's because you're trying to get out of a mess and you know get out of the stress get and and then go towards your 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 best life your your best potential so that is what you're faced with at the moment Oops, the rest of the cards here. And if you make the right decision, you're going to come up with uh, an opportunity that is that is of value to you. So it could be concerning your finances, your career, or the material realm in general, something in there. So whatever it is, the choice you need to make that requires some strength from you, once you make that decision and you go forward with that inner will and strength and courage, it'll bring about uh, an opportunity that comes towards you. Um, for now, at the moment, you're in the Two of Pentacles, which means you need to balance things. Of what you do have at the moment, you just you balance things uh, while your ships are coming in. While what you've been asking about is on its way. And don't go thinking it's never going to come because then you're stopping the momentum of it coming towards you. Okay. Practice a little bit the law of attraction, but also set your internal magnet uh, in a way that it will keep attracting what it is that you want in your life. What you want, but uh, from a soul's perspective, from your spirit's perspective, it's whatever you want for your best potential. It's not so 3D, but it does affect the 3D reality. And that's how you get to become the alchemist of your own life. You start to see how, how things move, how things action, reaction, how things operate. You start to get a sense of these things for yourself. I dropped a whole bunch. Okay, that's too many. Whenever you're doing this, it's Mercury retrograde too, right? So Mercury, Mercury retrograde usually speaks about uh, things, people, situations from the past coming back to your present moment 
for you to either face and let go, face and reconcile, face and whatever it is that you're choosing to do because you do have the options cards in the beginning. For some of you it's about there'll be like a communication coming in and it's something to heal and it's pertaining to love and it's pertain and it's it'll be like the end of suffering. Okay, it'll be the end of uh, uh, the broken heart. It could be someone that broke your heart before and got you in your in your feelings. So from a, some of you, it's an ex coming back, and there'll be communication about that. So if you feel or sense that it would be a good idea to try again really sense everything because you may be going back in the same pattern so this could be one of the options that's available or coming towards you while you're balancing things like your, your finances your living your work your friends your social your family while you're doing that and keeping a good flow about that that's when you got like these options coming and you have this person coming back in your life and it's just before you're going to make a great change in your life, just before something's going to line up for you. And if you choose to go back in that cycle, that pattern, is it good for you? So sense it out first to see if it is, because it is always your choice. Okay? No one can tell you what to do. I mean, they can give you advice, and they may be right, but some of us, we need to learn the hard way, and we need to do it again, to really know why we didn't want it in the first place. And some of us, we've done these cycles over and over, and we're fed up with it, so we choose differently now. So it depends which group you find yourself in, and it's fine because you're still going to have a lot of soul growth. So which one is it that you want to get into? Alright, there's one here still sticking up. It doesn't want to go back in. What is it? Two cups. While you're balancing everything, there's a two of cups that comes in. An offer. An offer of friendship, partnership, uh, love. It could be love romantically. It could be... Uh, support like people to uh, soulmates like a, someone, a support group it could be um, friends family it's an offer of types that comes from the heart it's an offering of support love uh, friendship partnership so you take it as you will however it is that it resonates so while you're doing this this comes up And it seems genuine. Let's see what, because you sense it. It's the two cups. It seems like someone meeting you on your level, because you see these are not two different colored dragons. They're the same colored dragons, which means they're meeting you on the same level, the same emotional level of where you are at at the moment. Okay. All right, so let's see what else we got for this collective. Okay, there's one that came facing up and the other two were facing down. So we have the Sire of Wands. The Sire, would that be, I have to look this one up because they have just a little bit of a different terminology and I don't want to lead you wrong. They're brand new cards, I got them a couple days ago. And I want to see the Sire of Wands. Who would that be? The sire is the king. Ooh. Wow, okay. So the sire of wands is in the... So for this collective, wands are associated with fire signs. So this could be an offer that's coming from a fire sign or has strong fire 
in their chart embodies they could be any sign but they could embody that that fiery uh, passionate way of being so this represents the king of wands all right so the two of cups this offer someone meeting you on your level could be a fire sign someone that's very passionate okay and the other two cards that popped up with the sire of wands it describes how this person is this somewhat wait this person is very communicative and will help you in your decision because the chariot came out chariot is usually when you have a big decision to make so uh, it's also the card of intentions this is what I'm picking up on uh, if your intent is to do this you'll follow this dragon this dragon will lead the way if your intention is that you'll follow that intention if it's straightforward you know it could be put your your head and your heart put them both together so that they can lead you in the right direction so it's about following your intuition the divine is helping you with making it a, a decision so you also have the Knight of Swords, which is quick communication coming your way. Communication, and you see this, the sword is there and the sword of truth. <coughs> the dragon in ancient times for Excalibur, it's a dragon that made Excalibur. And Excalibur was a very powerful sword in the ancient times, and it was also like the sword of truth. Only a pure heart could wield it, and so on and so forth. So, someone's gonna come. It is this uh, this sire of wands. This very passionate person is gonna help you with making a decision, a major life decision. And he's offering. He's offering his two of cups. He's offering his help. <coughs> and he's gonna. He's gonna come in with a lot of good communication truthful communication okay so and at the bottom of the deck we have queen of wands and this could be your energy if you're a fire sign if you're aries leo sag <coughs> excuse me my goodness i had no tickle <clears throat> <coughs> regardless <coughs> so you got options here going on it's going to need some of your strength and for you to balance things in your life and this offer is going to come in from someone that is very truthful very passionate and it's going to help he or she is going to help you with a major life decision on how to get to the next step, a major life decision for you. They're gonna help you, not tell you what to do. <coughs> it's kind of like they're gonna, they're gonna open your eyes on all the different options that you do have that are available in front of you and tell you what each one is about. They're gonna help you to open your eyes, to have a better perspective on what you may want to get into and what that entails. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry for the distractions. I was good all day. <laughs> Alright. So this collective has been your reading. So I'm Tina from Cosmic Turtles. I will see you next time. <laughs>